Okay, so good afternoon. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, thank you very much for attending. Thank you very much for joining us today. And once again, thank you to fxreach.com to give me the opportunity to speak. Okay, for those who aren't familiar with our series of webinars, uh, it's preferable you see our uh, previous recorded webinars in order to see how I analyze the market, how I define our entry level, and most important, the tools I use every day to define my uh, entry and exit levels, okay? Uh, my name is Telmo Pinto. I'm the founder and director of market operations at Intuition Trading Group. Uh, for those who don't know us, we are a team of professional traders uh, dedicated to provide a simple, real-time, unified trading solutions to investors, okay? You can see more info at admissiontrading.com or at our website in fxstreet.com, okay? So let's move on. It's important. We see the disclaimer here. Um, any comments I made on the webinar or any levels I show on the webinars, they are not a solicitation to invest, and you should carefully consider your financial situation as to the suitable to your situation prior to making any investment. Uh, it's preferable to seek advice from an independent, and in, sorry, independent financial advisor if you have any questions or concerns. So today we'll resume um, this week was a crazy week for the for the forex market. We didn't see this volatility a long time. Um, it's important to know that this volatility well happens less than 3% of the time on the market. These extreme trends we are seeing now, uh, they were due to the news. First, uh, the ECB meeting last week, then the non-farm payrolls. Uh, and this week uh, we had the Fed meeting, okay, with Mr. Ben Bernanke said the Kiwi 3 is okay to go. They will feed the market with the money until we see further development in the U.S. economy. So, but let's go to the charts in order to see better what I'm talking about. Okay, for those who are seeing this, uh, I mainly watch Renko charts, okay? I use the tool like uh, options levels to see the entries and market sentiment indicators. But in order to confirm my entries or exits, I use Renko charts, okay? Uh, on the left, we have the 21 pips chart. On the right, we have the 34 pips range chart, uh, Renko chart, sorry. On 21, let's put here the separators in order we see, okay, this, let's put this week. This was the first impulse from the market. It's important to know that the Renko bar charts, they are independent from time. I have received m many emails asking about the Renko charts and information. What is most important to know on the Renko charts as they are independent on time? Okay, one bar can have uh, one second, okay, in high volatility we have bars with one second, but the bar can develop like one day, two days, three days, okay, they are independent. For instance, this ellipse here, and it's good in order we see how we can predict or how we can define this huge uh, trend, okay, let's put here the ellipse. Here, okay. Let's put here this ranging area here on, on the on the Renko. This was developed since 22 August, okay. So from here, this beginning of the ellipse to the end, we have almost uh, two weeks and a half. Market was congesting there. And I alert in the, in the webinars of that week that most important we'll see is from the 6th of September, okay, and, and market, sorry, and market developed from there. 
what we can observe from here is that we had this level here was the 26 area, 26 20 area was a key important level then we had the 12650 uh, that i told in the in the webinars <clears throat> that could be a reversal of the trend okay uh, most stops were at that level 126 50, 50 127 and then 128 uh, market was marking new prices on the market okay new prices for the euro we had this up move market congestion here you can see clearly that market was congesting here okay then another further up move this was from the news and here we have what I call a fake this is a fake bar okay I personally entered short on this level okay I personally entered short here was a losing trade no matter what I reverse you can see on the stats on the fxstreet.com website our performance you can see those stats there this was a fake bar we were losing let me put this we are losing the momentum here okay we had this went down three up again four up again two down this was the first signal of possible weakness then go we had here an important level was the 129 20 uh 129 40 area this was the important level and then we had this move i personally entered short here okay it was a losing trade i reversed my trade here okay and then i collect my profits okay i closed early i didn't follow the trend because of the divergence of the system but okay um this is important to see that if you decided to enter short at this level was good to confirm by the market sentiment indicators i think we can see now because oanda but let's see here on the oanda if you can see this is good to see in order we can define and accumulate some knowledge of the of the system okay like this is um is a friday webinar so it's good to see what happened to the week we are going to enter the weekend okay so easier okay this was prior i told yesterday on the webinar that we are sorry we were seeing some reversal of positions from short to long okay uh let me do the questions uh, it occurred to me even someone who can be sometimes mislead sorry uh, yes 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 michael there are no 100 percent sure in our probability trading okay trading is a probability business okay you must have an edge in order you can profit in your business okay but it's a probability you will win you will lose although uh, your aim or any investor aim need to be protect the capital okay protect the investment capital okay that is the most important and then make profits of course uh mrc how you read this <coughs> okay i'll go i'll go to there uh we have the two webinars dedicated to market sentiment indicators uh and this specific order book um like i told in the beginning of the webinar it's preferable attend to see those webinars in order but I'm, I'm going to explain okay this is the oanda order book okay and at this level what we see here we have on the left the open orders there are the orders that are on the market but not realized orders and on the right we have open positions these open positions are orders that are already realized on the market at this price yesterday we saw that we saw a reversing of the shorts beginning to go long and we know that at this level the 129 was a agreement level 
for the euro at that time. So market went up, break these stops here that were a 129.40 area, break the stops here, you can see clearly the stops, these huge stops here, okay, they clearly break that level, and then we have this space here, on the right chart we have this orange level here, and more than 80% of the time they will clean this level. This confirms my short entry that I took yesterday on the arrow was against the major trend, but I had uh, the higher probability that at least I have made a one-to-one -one risk ratio, uh, risk ratio uh, trade. That didn't happen. Market continued to go up. As you can see from one hour to another, the orders disappeared. This was, they closed the orders in profit. That happened, okay. And then market continued to go up, 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 and what we have now is that the players on the market are much less. You can see year from year, the levels on the market, you can see here that are 1, 2%, 1, 1% 1 and 5, okay. The orange means uh, unrealized profit, okay. These orange here are uh, orders that are already in profit. At this level now, what we can see is that the majority of traders are long gear. We have a huge, huge number of sellers going down on the price, okay, till 124, 125, 126, okay? But they are now agreement here on the 131. They close the daily gap that was open many any year now we'll see that on the chart but for now and what I want to show you here is that okay we have now a level on the price that I don't want to enter at all I want to see the price retrace clean this book here till 130 because on this you can see there are many orange, there are many uh, uh, blue lines here. These are the stops for the people that are on the market. And we are on Friday, and on Friday with this huge trend up, we can see uh, some profit taking. Okay, So price can bounce here up and down, up and down, up and down. And these situations on extreme scenarios that we are seeing now, uh, it's preferable we see a clear possible retracement on the market and a possible retracement from this huge move that we are talking about 400 pips uh, is at least 100 pips and break a level an important level we'll see now uh, Solman you say the market is going there do you mean the market will go down to those levels 80% uh, of the time they will go to these orange levels, okay, here. Okay, they will clean those orders. This is market cleaning the orders that are, okay, or to gain momentum, this is gaining more players to go into the market again. Because market need players, okay, market need investors. I told this yesterday, and I will enforce my idea today, is that the retail traders are not the big money on Forex, but they play uh, a big role on the Forex market. If they were not retail, if, if there isn't retail traders, uh, the spreads will be huge, and uh, the brokers, uh, don't exist okay the brokers don't work with institutional or banks they need the retail trader to survive and to be in the market so um, we are not the big money but we have an important role in the forex market let's go to the platform here 
in order to see this. Okay. We had this down move here. Market break the previous high and gain momentum again. So I will need to see at least a come below 130.20, 130, 130.30, okay, in order to think, okay, this can be a retracement and market can go and test this previous resistance area, okay, at least this level, 130.30. This on short cycle. On the 34 pips, we see that market is clearly up, okay? We have, this is the same range area from the 21, but it's more clearly to see that market was making higher lows, what is important. And I reinforce the idea that on Renko to see a good trend or a development on the trend is necessary, we see higher lows on the market. As you can see, price never went down from higher lows, okay, for making new higher lows. This is most important to see on the Renko, okay, or on any system, okay, or uh, on any chart, sorry. It's very important we see higher lows. If you see this level, for instance, here, level break, then go up again, then go down again and make, uh, okay, inside, this is market not defined, ranging, okay? And you know on Forex, market is ranging about 60%, 60-70% of the time, okay? The other 30% or 40%, they are on trend. But the majority of the time, the Forex markets are in range. So, on the Iger cycles, uh, on on or higher time frames, I need to see at least a break of the 130 in order to think that market can go down. I'm not telling reversing this trend. They are okay. That begins on the July, okay, late July. Not telling that. At least a retracement. But for now, and. You can see here on the daily chart, now we go to the common charts, we see that this is a huge, okay, huge reversal. They close already this gap with today move, and now we have the 132 level. Okay, these levels here, okay, 132 level. If you can go to the weekly, chart here, you can see that market is gaining, 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 gaining momentum. Okay, they close already this gap that was formed here on April. They close already, and these are the level that I, I think, okay, that market could go, 132, 132, 132.80, okay, 132, 132.80, okay, this is the level that market can go for now. As we see from the prior uh, QE, uh, QE1 and QE2, okay, market was always, uh, the USD was always weak, weak and weak and weak, okay? So we can see further up move. Although in order to enter, we now need to see a good retracement or a good level uh, to find uh, a risk reward entry for our trade. And most uh, is important to see that uh, most traders lose money because, okay, market is going up, I need to enter, I need to enter, I need to enter. No, trading is, is very important to be successful on trading, need to be patient and disciplined. There are other trades to, to make. Okay, market will not going to close tomorrow forever. We need to to see uh, or, or spot good entry levels 
in order we get a good risk reward ratio so we can go and make our profit. Mike Chandler, I agree, 60% trade, but I wonder if this is much lower in the overlap of US and London. Uh, I'm not referring to the intraday, okay? Mike, I'm referring to the all market, okay? Not only on intraday, on intraday we know that Yazin session is the more ranging one, and on London the market have, have a break, and on US Open we can have another break. Uh, I'm talking in general, as I'm not um, a purely intraday trader, I'm more a swing position trader. Um, this happens on the whole market, but on intraday we know that the Asia session is the less volatility or possible for ranging and the U London Open and US we have moves on the market. So for Euro, this is the analysis of the trend. Uh, I need to see, frankly, I need to see a, a good retracement in order or to go short or to at least um, see a better spot to enter. But now the train has already left the station many, 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 many pips ago, okay? So we need to to stay aside because this is the banks and institutional games. We are the ball, nothing else, okay? If we enter now, the risk reward will not compensate at all and we will probably, if we win, okay, it's good, but it's not good for us have a bad risk reward ratio in our trading. The important pair, okay, that went, decide to move today was the GBP, uh, the, the Japanese yen, sorry. Uh, this was due in the morning. We know that the 77, between 75 and 77, the Bank of Japan uh, will always have a, a, a word to say, or they will uh, enter in the market, or they will make an announcement. Today they make an announcement, and price strictly up. So I personally have entered at this level, expecting further high moves. Okay. Uh, for coming down, I need to see a break of this last. For reversing my position from long now, I need to see a break of this level. Okay. If they break this level, I can think that market okay can test the the the, the 77. Okay, they made here a small test, okay, but at this level, Bank of Japan made this move and made an announcement. They didn't intervene, they didn't enter in the market. They only, okay, they only tell that at these levels, we know that the, we need to make further moves in order to guarantee that yen will not going further up. So this is the yen pair. So the levels here, if they break the here the seventy seven seventy area, I can think it reverse my position and expecting go down. For now I expect my trade go at least test this level first as I referred on the euro, it's important to see the higher lows or lower hikes. Okay, now as we can might be on a downtrend or making here some swing, this level is important and is in accordance with this ranging area here. Okay, we are going to have our first test at the lower of this range, and if go up, test, uh, 
sorry. Uh, this and this level. We are going to make our first test at this level here. If they could break, we can test it higher. And if break, my other target is here, the 79.30 area. 79.20, 79.30 area. So this is the analysis for the for the Japanese yen. Um, the Australian dollar. Most curious to see this huge V bottom on the market. Now they are testing the eggs here. They didn't break, they are testing. If market came down from here and at least break this level, we can think, okay, they made here a possible double top and they can go down. If they break, we don't have clue where this might stop. They could go further and further. We can know that, okay, we have 10750 and then we have 110. But um, I think, in my opinion, in order to get a good, and again, a good risk reward, is preferable we see a retracement. If they stop at this level here, and we see a stall here, okay, market ranging a bit in this level, and this make a support, uh, we can decide enter long with a stop below this level, but our risk reward will be higher than one to one, will be at least two to one, okay? So this is the analysis for today. Um, let me answer the questions. Do banks use Renko charts? Well, MRC, I don't know. I only know that banks and institutionals uh, trade very differently. Okay, I had my institutional background. I marked some some prices for institutional, uh, and they work very differently because the, the the perspective of trading is very different from the retail traders. I don't know they use Renko bars. Uh, I know they look at the twenty. The sorry, the 200 moving average and the 15, and they have uh, algorithms, okay, to trading. They definitely have algorithms to trading. Uh, although I don't know if they use rank of our charts or or else, okay. At I'll do get okay. At uh, is preferable you uh, see our pre-recorded webinars. They are at fxstreet.com website. Um, you, you have there our, our pre-recorded webinars. You can see that the first two webinars uh, I gave was about the Renko charts, how to build them on MT4 platform. Um, and the, the, the forward one was about market sentiment indicators. And uh, then we do the analysis of the market. Uh, so for today, we are finishing here. Just to let you know that uh, we have an automated trading signal services for the MT4 platform. Uh, if you go to our our services website at fxstreet.com, you can have a 10% discount. You have all info there. If you have any questions, so please uh, Contact us through the email tradingdesk at intuitiontrading.com or go to our website at www.intuitiontrading.com. Uh, I hope you all enjoy. Hope you see you all on Monday. Uh, on Monday, we'll see how the market will open on Sunday and uh, we'll see how the levels we can, okay, if the market gives levels to enter on this continuation of uptrend or if you have some opportunities, okay, to make some shorts in a possible retracement. I hope you all enjoy the session, the webinar. 
Um, have a pleasant and enjoyable weekend. Hope to see you all on Monday. Okay, bye. Thank you.